Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I'm renovating 17 Culpepper House in the Spice District of San Michino. This is one of my favorite apartments, but for some reason I don't renovate it that often anymore. Uh, I've mentioned this before in videos, but this is actually the first ever apartment I played in when City Living first came out. And I thought it would be perfect today for a apartment style I haven't done in a while, which is cottage core. I feel like when I create cottage core spaces, it's usually a house, but I think it's kind of fun to do this in an apartment as well. And I believe the last time I did it was a couple of years ago when it was like really colorful because there's different ways of approaching this aesthetic. But I really wanted something that was like more soft woods and cozy and a little bit more neutral. And I thought a lot of the items that we've recently got with the book nook kit that came out this past week would work beautifully here. So that is what we are doing here today. Starting in the kitchen space uh, is going to be where we start decorating first, uh, but I do mess around with this floor plan quite a bit. I really just wasn't sure how I wanted things to lay out, but I think the kitchen in this back corner with all of the windows looks so pretty. I love how many windows this apartment has. It does make it a little bit difficult to floor plan it, but they are really nice and they're a little bit more of a traditional window, whereas some of the apartments in San Michino are like big modern windows, so it really depends on the style you're going for, but I really enjoyed this one. Anyway, in here, I opted to mix and match counters and cabinets. So the countertops are from the Country Kitchen Kit and the cabinets are from Cottage Living. And then I used some open shelving over in the corner as well. And that book stack I put there is actually its own like free floating shelf that came with the book nook kit. But I thought merging it into the shelf looked cute, like a little stack of books up there. And then I'm just kind of cluttering up this space, trying to fill it up. I wanted to have lots of plants lots of neutrals and make it look cottagey and cute and a little bit modern as well. I didn't want it to look old, but I still wanted it to feel cottage core. Definitely let me know what you think if I achieve that or not. And uh, let me know how, how you like this build. I, I think it came out really cute. I really, really like it. Uh, and if you would like to download it, it will be available on the same as four gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-O-I, P-H-I, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. So right here, I am playing with which stove I wanna have. I believe I go with this one in the end, and then we're just grabbing some more clutter. I wanted to make sure we had plenty of it. I ended up getting this bread box from Parenthood as well as like some canisters from Cottage Living. I just keep grabbing pieces <laughs> to try and fill up the counters as well as those open shelves. And then I decided to do a wraparound corner counter over here, and I used this other piece of cabinetry from Parenthood. It's not the same style, but I did build this over on Twitch first and me and chat kind of liked how it didn't quite match, how everything's a little bit mismatched. It kind of added to the vibe of this space. Uh, that's an easy thing to delete if you don't like it though. I just didn't like the longer versions of the cabinets that came with the counters or cabinets I was using elsewhere in the kitchen. So decided to play around with that. Uh, got some spoons and stuff by the stove and then we're decorating over here some more with a kettle and I'm trying to think what else we put up there. I think I ended up putting some more books. Uh, there's a new like horizontal stock stack of books, like, not a stack of books, like books with bookends that came with the book nook kit that I should be putting up there. Yeah, these ones right here. I think they're really pretty. I actually really, really like that kit. It might be my favorite one now. Uh, there's quite a few really good ones. And I know like kits are controversial, but there are some that I like. And I like the concept of getting little like bite-sized pieces of like build content. I have a lot of fun building with it, but I also understand the price is not great. And we would like to see stuff packs back. I really want stuff packs. I miss them. Uh, but this was so fun to decorate with. I had a blast with it. And obviously I'm using a lot of packs here. It's not just the book Nick kit. <laughs> Honestly, we haven't used that much of it yet because we're in the kitchen. Uh, but I do use the new sofa and the new bookcases in the living room. And of course, a couple of the decor pieces are in this kitchen as well. I just added a teapot over in the corner or a tea maker so your Samus can actually brew some tea. And then uh, filling up this little space to, uh, to make it all look more built in. I also had the idea to add the shelf that came with Tiny Living in here just to add a little bit more clutter. So I played around with trying to like clip it into the cabinets over here. And it kept looking weird, so I ended up scaling this pot from the, uh, that's from Cottage Living to cover the teapot up there so it didn't look so odd, and I thought it looked kind of cute. 
I liked adding the additional shelving and then I added these beautiful modern curtains from the Desert Lux kit in this green swatch. I, I just, I don't know. I love this style so much. I absolutely adore cottage core. So doing another apartment like this was so much fun. Um, and uh, I keep saying that, but I really enjoyed this one. So I really do hope that you enjoy it as well. Uh, so the table that I have by the kitchen space, I was thinking was kind of going to act sort of like an island. And then I wanted to have a table over here. And I had the idea to use this corner couch from Cats and Dogs to sort of tuck that table into. I think it looks so pretty that way. It looks so cozy. Obviously, your Sims are not going to actually be able to sit there and sit at the table, but I liked the idea of it. It would be cool if we got some tables like that at some point in the future, but I'm not expecting it. And then I'm trying to figure out which light fixture to use. I ended up using these ones from Tiny Living. I think they're really pretty and simple. Uh, I like something that's a little bit understated like that. And then I just got a couple of pieces of clutter up here. I believe he gets a journal. I started with this one, but I'm going to swap it out for the one from Nifty Knitting because it has all of the the knitting clutter around that. And that seems pretty cute and cottagey. So that's what we did. And I should be getting, yes, some salt and pepper shakers in here as well. And that's pretty much it for the dining room table, other than the fact that I'm going to change the table to be the other one that's very similar to this. This one's from Jungle Adventure, but I swap it to be this one instead, which is from the Laundry Day pack because it has this warmer tone wood on the top and I just wanted to make the space feel a little bit warmer. It was feeling a little too cold for my liking. So I did that and I scaled down some bar seats to put under this table. I wasn't thinking of this as a functional space for your Sims to sit, just extra like surface area and decoration. So that's what I did there. And then we're moving on into the living room where I, of course, got lots of these lightly colored bookcases and I just kind of lined the whole back wall with them. <laughs> I think it looks so pretty and I love that we finally got like proper bookcases like that. I feel like we've been wanting to stack bookcases for a long time and the fact that they're modular is just so nice. Uh, in the living room, I did add the rug from Cottage Living with the bunnies on it. It's so cute. Of course, in the green swatch that matches the rest of the apartment really well. And then I'm trying to create a hallway in the front instead of entering directly into the living room. And it takes me a while to figure out exactly how I'm going to lay that out. But I do end up having a closet over on one side and laundry over on the other. And <laughs> the space of that changes because I decided I wanted to have a fireplace in here, but I wanted it to be on an angle. So we will be kind of drawing a diagonal wall in the corner of this room here shortly to figure that out. Oh, also this this tray that I have on the table, at some point in time, it just like dropped and it ended up behind, like underneath the table and I don't know why. Uh, so you'll see me fix that at some point in time, but this is the diagonal fireplace. I think it looks quite nice. The fireplace itself is from Growing Together. I haven't used it that much. It's, it's fairly new, obviously, uh, but I think it looks really nice there. And then I wrapped these bookcases around the corner ever so slightly and added a little dresser over here with a mirror over it. And I believe some flowers on top as well. I just think this space looks so cozy. There's a TV in here, but I feel like you could put a painting there instead and just have this as a cozy reading room. I like that idea. Uh, but in the entryway now, our weird <laughs> little entryway, I do have a place to hang up your coat. And then I decided to have like laundry over in this corner. It just felt like a good spot to put it. And I mostly used stuff from the laundry day pack to go ahead and achieve this look. I just got like a little chalkboard over here. Of course, our hamper, our dish detergent, or not dish detergent, our laundry detergent. Oh my goodness. Please do not wash your dishes in a washing machine. That sounds like a mess and like a lot of broken, uh, broken plates. Anyway, I did add a pretty mirror in this hallway as well. This one is from the basement kit. I've been using that mirror a lot. It's probably a new favorite. I feel like a lot of the items in the recent kits I've been enjoying. And then this is going to be the bathroom. It's a pretty simple bathroom. We have a shower tub combo, a couple, a couple of counter spots, like one counter spot and one sink using the same ones that I used in the kitchen. And then the toilets can be on the other side of the room. And I tried to put a little bit of clutter in here, but I wanted to keep it fairly minimal so it wasn't too busy, but I got a couple of these towels here and a few pieces from the bathroom clutter kits. There's our toilet and then we get a cabinet over in the corner from Eco Lifestyle and I believe a rug in here as well and maybe a bathrobe. Yeah, and that's it for this bathroom. Very, very simple. <laughs> I quite like it though. I think the style is adorable. And then moving on into the bedroom, I decided to use this wallpaper from Cottage Living. Of course, it feels very cottage core. I just thought it was too much for the entire apartment, but I thought as like an accent room, it looked quite nice. So 
trying to figure out what bed and rug I wanted to use in here. I was convinced for the longest time I was going to use this bed, but I ended up swapping it out for the one from Cats and Dogs instead in this green swatch. I think it's so pretty. And then I changed the rug accordingly. And I'm very happy with how this room came out. I'm glad I decided to change the bed. I was stuck on it for a long time because I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to look like. And also during stream, during the decoration of this room, when I couldn't figure it out, we were having a very in-depth conversation about everyone's favorite fruits and vegetables and it was, <laughs> and how you pronounce certain words. Uh, so it, I was a little bit distracted. That, that has, tends to be how stream goes. We just kind of chit chat about random things while we hang out and build and it's a lot of fun, but Sometimes it means that you stare at the same bed and realize you don't want it, uh, but don't know what to choose for a good like 30 minutes. So anyway, <laughs> we are just getting a chair over in the corner here and another one of these lamps that I have all over this apartment and then a dresser from Cottage Living that has the attached mirror. I really like that one. It just feels so realistic to me. I was really excited when we originally got that because that's just always how the dressers I had growing up are. It's not what I have anymore. I have like a separate mirror, but growing up, they were always attached. So having one in the game made me really happy when that was added. But yeah, just decorating the other bedside table and that should be pretty much it for this apartment. Then we'll be heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see y'all soon. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.